well, why the hell will not just cast another match while we're waiting? So that's exactly what we're doing here, as you can see on your screen. we got a round of 16 match once again. This time it's going to be TTE Sports taking on Dynasty. And apparently Dynasty, they're actually uh, from Brazil. So we got a Brazilian team here on the competitive scene. Looking forward to seeing what they bring to the table. Of course, a very difficult matchup, though in that they have to play TT Esports. But anyways, uh, once again, I am going to be joined by Keizu. I believe he's back now. How you doing, buddy? Yep, I'm back. Awesome. Good stuff. So, man, we got some uh, we got some Brazilians over here on the Legion side. Oh, wait, who's Brazilian? Uh, Legion? I, I guess, yeah. That's what they're saying, so. Damn, Brazils. <laughs> Brazil nice. representing here. Uh, it is on a U.S. West server, and if you notice at the latency, it's... Uh, it's fairly back and forth. It seems like it is a little bit better for our Australian team overall. Of course, they are using a couple of Americans in Riser and Leon Black, so perhaps that's the difference maker. But um, overall, other than that, it's pretty even back and forth. Anyways, um, locks have started, bans have started, so let's let's look at what we're dealing with here as this game goes. Um, <laughs> We got our, our blind bands here. We have Moraxes, Tundra, and Pebbles. Now, I look at these, and these are what I, you know, really expect to see when it comes to the blind bands. So, um, who are you a fan of blind banning? Is, or is it team-specific, would you say? I always blind ban <laughs> Tundra and Pebbles. Yeah, it and seems like that's the case. In locking, I lock Scout, Dark Lady, and Glacius. Really? Always. Every every game. So you got you even got a, a lock that you do every game too. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't have down. strategy. I just have my locks. <laughs> you just you screw it. I don't want to think about this too much. Let's just do this, and I'll still make it work. All right. Fair enough. Um, speaking of scout, he is locked. Lo and behold. Uh, <laughs> as far yeah. as that goes, we also have silhouette, hammerstorm, magmas, glacius, and engineer. So. Not nearly as "quote unquote" troll as last time, but um, yeah, can't, can't be too surprised. But yeah, the scout really the only kind of uh, funny lock there. But other than that, pretty pretty solid locks here. Yeah, would you, say? you can use literally any hero. Yeah, even scout, but the others are way more useful. I will say I did see Slicks play scout in an in-house recently, and he uh, it is Slicks after all. But yeah, he he dominated with him so. Yeah. Maybe we'll see uh, a little bit of that coming out. Who knows? Um, but yeah, you know, you got your Glacius in the lock, so that's a, you know one really powerful support. Now it comes down to the question of do you ban other supports if you're this Legion side, perhaps knowing that you get that first lock pick that you could pick up Glacius with to kind of screw over TT Esports, or maybe there's just too many out there, so you really can't do that. Again, this is all the mind games that come into play. Um, when it comes down to it. But Armadon, Electrician, and Jeraziah so far. You got Aluna right there. That's another ban, and I believe two more bans total. Tempest going to be one. And then we got our final ban going to come out here from TT Esports. So we'll see who they finish it off with. You still got your Parasite on the board. Of course, Jeraziah's ban, but uh, Bubbles, actually, the final ban. So looking at these bans here, anything standing out to you, Casey? Mm, maybe Aluna a little bit, mm -hmm. but other than that, not really. Yeah. Yeah, as I was saying, that could, uh, uh, you still got, you know, you got your Nymphora on the board, so. But it's going to make Dynasty feel pretty comfortable that they are they can get Glacius if they want to with that first lock pick. But at the same time, it does leave open a couple of solid choices, too, so. We'll see what they ultimately do. Now, they first pick Ophelia here, as Polywalk Priest and Valkyrie are the follow-ups from TT Esports, so. Um, Ophelia first pick. What do you think of that? Oh, I don't know, because Parasite's on the board. Yeah. But, so what I expect TTEs to do is they pick Parasite with their next pick, mm -hmm. and Legion first lock picks Glacius, since they have Ophelia. I highly doubt they want to give Glacius to Hellborn. Yeah. Because Glacius kind of screws up with Ophelia in the early game. Yeah. But, yeah, that's what I think about it. That's true, yeah. We'll, we'll see. You know, Wretched Ag, one of the follow up pick, and then Torture, actually. So they got uh, those two picks, solid picks in their own right. But yeah, I could definitely see a Parasite here and then going a, uh, a Magmus Engineer even uh, with their final couple of picks would be pretty solid. Or they could go, you know, something like a Magmus Silhouette. They feel like they need that hard carry potential in there. Or Hammerstorm. Or, or you're right, especially with TTE Sports. Slicks yeah. uh, is no one to play that. And Leon Black, I believe, has as well. So anyways, we'll see what they finish with their picks here, and that can help us determine 
what they ultimately may go with. But yeah, Wretched Act Torturer over there for the Legion side. Not not too bad. Definitely some pushing presence there. If they choose to use it that way, but they uh, they obviously you know with that lineup that the downside is they they don't have that hard carry. So we'll see if they try to pick up either that silhouette scout or hammerstorm even. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to see a scout. In the locks. That, that would be fun. I, I wouldn't be against that either. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, they, they, they're making the point that they're probably not going to go scout or silhouette themselves with that Dark Lady pick. I expect, I don't know, I think TT Esports, they have to pick Engineer Dark Lady lane now. Mm -hmm. Or they try lane something. Yeah. What? Ooh. Wow, Glacius Magnus here? I mean... That was so... <laughs> Not, that was such a bad pick. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I I'm, now I'm just really confused. Okay. Well, I mean, not really, but it, it's not what I expected. Engineer of Hammerstorm, though. I, the, I I feel like Glacius Magmus though would have been like perfect <laughs> with TT. Yeah. So <laughs> Legion, they never had to pick Silhouette because Hellborn, they already had like the three core heroes. Yeah. Or like farmers with Polly, Valk, and Dark Lady. I don't know. They didn't even pick up Blacius. I don't know yeah, why. That's, so that's like on the was a wasted pick. Yeah, I, yeah. It, definitely don't pick up that. That's a very good point to bring up. But, anyways, I mean, TT Sports again. They they kind of did something a little bit odd as well, going with the Hammerstorm Engineer. It's not at least what I would have first expected when looking at those locked heroes. But um, now they are going to get that Engineer Dark Lady lane though, if they so choose to have. Um, I'm guessing that it's going to be a Hammerstorm Valkyrie as well. Yeah, but I think it's a support Valk. Really? It's White it Teleba. It is White Teleba, you're right. Yeah, it's not Slicks or Leon Black or WTF. It is definitely White Teleba, so. Huh. Nope. Hammer just upgraded the Korea, so it's a support Slicks storm. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> I am disappointed. Well, so, wait, are they tri -laning? I don't know. But the other day I played with them, and Slicks was also playing Hammerstorm support, so. He ended up as a carry, but he played as a support. Yeah. Um, yeah, I apologize, the, uh, the overlays, by the way, are there are backwards, so I'm going to get that fixed real quickly, but, um, anyway, so yeah, it's, it's seeing, it's seeing, a uh, Hammerstorm support, though, I'm not a huge fan of that, especially coming out from Slicks, but we'll see how it works out for TT Esports over here, but yeah, they are going to run that tri lane bottom, obviously, directly, that means he is going to be solo up top, being played by WTF up there, uh, good to see him playing with, uh, TT Esports again, by the way, obviously. Missed the trip to DreamHack, unfortunately, because of some visa issues. So, wasn't able to join his team there, but uh, they still managed to get runner-ups, of course, as we have a pause here. But yeah, so the trial lane going to be bought. That's a very aggressive trial lane. Uh, seems like our Legion team, though, they're they're kind of ready for it themselves somewhat. They got Ophelia down here with a Magmus Torturer. Uh, I think it's safe to say, though, the TT Esports probably has the better better chance down here, though. Yeah, I think so, too. I like the uh, I like both lineups, even though Hellborn is a bit the lanes are a bit uh, like weird and unusual. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like both lineups. Yeah, yeah. They, I think they should have picked maybe a bit different, but I'm not the drafter, so I don't know. <laughs> How dare you try to question them? You're not yeah. drafting. It's their game. Oh, yeah, it's nothing wrong with that, of course, and I definitely agree with you. I mean, at least the order. Yeah, there was no reason for them to pick up silhouette there, but. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're happy that they got Magmus in the end as well. Maybe that's what they were hoping for when it's all said and done. So uh, that's what they got. Not too shabby. Again, torture Magmus lane, but it is matched up against that tri lane. And sure, they have Ophelia nearby, but Ophelia will even need to be careful herself because you got Hammer and Engineer roaming around. Um, if she gets caught, that's that's going to be a dead Ophelia. Let alone uh, everyone. <laughs> for sure. Team, so yeah, need to be careful about that. Riser on Engineer, <sighs> I want to see a mind build one of these days. <laughs> it's so funny with those mines, yeah. It's hilarious, and but at the same time, I really think it could work. I don't know how, because... Even in late game, I don't think they're bad. If you just have like this one spot with ten mines and you get yeah. a pick-off in late game, it's <laughs> GG. No, it always used to frustrate me when No-Tail uh, would play Engineer for a little bit for Fnatic when they were running it, how he and never went Mines. He would yeah, go he stats, stats over Mines. Yeah. I, it's like, what? No, don't do that. Go Mines, you idiot. Come on. Yeah, I mean, they still do damage in teamfights as well, yeah. if you, like, randomly place one. 
Yeah, no, it's. I, I think uh, to an extent they're somewhat underrated, but I don't know. Lately, we have actually seen them look a bit. I know actually Mookie's, I believe it is for Clan Milk. He actually plays a pretty solid um, engineer himself. So, anyways, uh, we'll see how Riser decides to go about it when it comes to leveling up in the future. But of course, level one keg. Not too surprised to see that here. Ophelia, though, you see her playing very passive. By the way, the new Ophelia skin, that's that's a very interesting skin, I think. It's its like, I think Ophelia, I don't think some alien freakish chick, but... Yeah, it's like some <laughs> weird thing, I don't even know. I, I definitely, when I first saw it, I, it took completely caught me off guard, but... Um, <laughs> you know what? Alt skins are fun, so... Damn, sneaky riser. He was body blocking the camp. Oh, was he? <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah, they just screwed Ophelia right there when it comes to options. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Uh, she's gonna have to go over this bottom camp, and she's gonna get a vulture lord. So not not too bad, but not the most ideal at the same time. Uh, bottom lane. There's the arrow on top of the hammer source on the kex had to push it back. Perfect placement right there, and that's a dead torture. So that's that's what we expected. I mean, this this trio very powerful. Hammerstorm sets up an easy arrow. The kex done to put him in position. Yeah, not not much chance there for torture. Yeah, one stun and you're kind of screwed in this bot lane. Yeah. You think uh, that was a uh, poor position by Torture, or was that just, again, <laughs> going mm, up this, It's just like the trial lane. Maybe a bit off position, but you can't really blame him. That trial lane, once they have a single stun on you, you're screwed. Yeah. And maybe they didn't know they were free down there, who knows. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, now you see them, Torture kind of learned his lesson. He is playing very passive now as is Magmus, but that's what is going to need to happen, unfortunately. They're kind of the sacrificial lambs this game. Of, they aren't going to do well, they know this, but look at Valkyrie now. Okay, so, interesting. Hammerstorm is actually getting the farm. So Valkyrie, Yeah, I actually yeah. just figured that. So they switched it up now. I mean, he started with upgrading, but they decided otherwise now. Hmm. I like it. Yeah, I wonder if maybe that's because of the lane setup or something, or if that's simply that's what they were planning for all along. Hmm. Um, we may never know, but yes. uh, he's going to galvanize right Oh, nice job right there. He faked the stun. He got him to use a steam bath. And Magmus is absolutely dead. What a cancel right there. It's not too... Well, okay, well, Magmus isn't actually dead yet. He, he does have to right, be the health potion. Die, but, uh, yeah, he's, and he may end up dying to yeah. Hammerstorm, which would be great. Okay, no, he doesn't. But Waitalabo on Valkyrie will get the kill. In comes Ophelia with a Vagabond leader. As you can see, though, not much going to happen from that, but... Man, it's always awesome seeing cancel animations like that used appropriately. Because obviously they're used all the time to annoy the hell out of us casters and yeah. spectators, but that was great use of that cancel right there. Yeah, it's one of the cases where a cancel is a big play. Yeah. And it was really well played. Or like well thought. Yeah, exactly. By six. Well thought out, you know, he obviously knows what Magmas can do, so got him, baited him to use his abilities, and sure enough, accomplished it very well, so. Uh, but yeah, seeing Slicks now getting the farm, that is that is exciting, because I really hope he goes for the Elder Parasite, too, because that's what I've seen him build. Get the Elder... What about Insanitarius? What what do you think of Insanitarius? Mm, on Hammerstorm or in general? Uh, I guess in general, really. I really like the item. Yeah. I think it's such as... Even Nullfire Blade. I'm a huge fan of Nullfire Blade, Harkon's Blade, and Insanitarius. But, like, literally nobody picks them up. Yeah. It's sad. It is Keizu, I know. You should uh <laughs> you should be the first one to start using it like all the time and When I have a new team breaky I will promise you. <laughs> In you one go. of the next three games I play I will pick up one of those three. I I'm gonna hold you to that, sir. So <laughs> we'll see how uh, true to your word you are. Polywa Priest in a little bit of trouble. Minotaur stun coming in, there we go, and yes, Leon Black. Unfortunately, not much he could have done there. That was just a case of good positioning by Ophelia and uh, the great support from the team. So, well played right there from our Legion side, and they do get their first hero kill of the game. Ophelia coming big early on, but you see Torturer going to avoid a keg stun as they were chasing him down, but going to be fine. So, yes, the early movement from Ophelia, that's what you would expect, at least hopefully. Yeah. But still... Ways to go, especially with this bottom lane. And Hammerstorm is going to continue to have free farm. And, and, and yeah, there he goes with Steam Boots already. <laughs> and we're only four and a half minutes in. So, How about the other lanes, though? There are There is a top lane up here. We haven't really talked about this too much. But a Dark Lady versus a Wretched Hag is happening. And right now, you got your Wretched Hag at 13 and 3, compared to a Dark Lady at 17 and 8. So, pretty back and forth battle, but Dark Lady is actually winning this battle here. Yeah. Um... Oh, that's uh, okay, bottom. 
And middle now, actually. Minotaur coming in once again. There's a stun. The Q's applied, and Polywalk Priest will go down. Damn, once again, extra pet game. I like it. Yep. So, uh, Dark Lady, though, winning that top lane. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's quite obvious that Dark Lady should get some farm, at least with W and uh, throwing the hatchet. Yeah. But I think Hex should be winning the lane, but he's not. Especially not now, because like, uh, Dark Lady got the life tube. He's going to be really hard to harass, but I don't think he should be losing. Yeah. That's uh, unfortunate for our Legion Team Dynasty that uh, mm. he is... Again, he's not struggling by any means, but... <laughs> Dark nope, mid again. The better time. But yeah, middle lane once again. Ophelia again coming in with a minute turn. Nice keg stun. It's not going to matter though. The turret even used, but Engineer being there to support. Not enough to save Ryzer or Leon Black, excuse me. He was now 0 and 3 actually. Uh, but Ryzer is still chasing on Engineer. And oh, keg stun. Yep, it will hit. And down will go Magmus. So he was hoping Ooh, that he didn't have enough mana, but unfortunately he did for Magmus. So he at least gets yeah. taken out. But Ophelia continuing to be active in this middle lane. Yeah, I like what Magnus is doing as well, kind of abandoning the bot lane. Because I think he was initially the farmer, as Tor is going to drop bottom, I guess. <laughs> That's but anyways, I like his roaming, because there's, there's no use for him to be bottom, and instead he's like helping Autophilia to get more successful ganks. What do you think about... I, I guess it's at a point where maybe it's just too late now, but... What mm -hmm. about setting Tor to her top and Wretched Ag bottom? It seems like Hag may have a little bit better chance against that combination. Hmm. Or is it just too late for that at this point? It's probably too late now, but maybe in the starts. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> if he's good enough to like outblink the hammer stun, yeah, otherwise no. Yeah, that's true even. <laughs> if he gets caught by the stun, then it doesn't matter anyways. Hammerstorm in a little bit of trouble after diving the tower to get the kill by Torture getting turned around on that. Torture may fall actually. Oh, the misclick at the last second. The fade to black came into play. And unfortunately, his character turned around. So Hammerstorm goes down. And good support coming out once again from Ophelia right there. As Magmus also doing some work. So, oh, uh, by the way, this Ophelia, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this is the norm, but I do like to see it, that she is leveling up the Q. Usually Ophelia players will level up the Ophelia's Judgment, or am I wrong on that? You're correct. Okay. You usually goes. level the W. But she is going the Q ability, also known as the Nature's Wrath. Do you like that? Um, in this game, yeah, mm, I think it's always situational, but I'm usually a fan of W, but this game I don't think Q is too bad. Because, one, he's ganking Polly, and Polly is really creepy slow. Yeah. Like 280 movement speed or 290. And like I think it's overall for the ganking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's been uh, it's definitely been helping. That's for sure. Uh, in this. But game then again, W isn't too bad, which is, or like whenever W is a really good spell to send your teammates yeah. home, especially in a war trap. It is. Yeah, it's a uh, very very effective. <laughs> Try lane mid. Yeah, no no big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and all roam mid and look to set up some kills over here. Apparently, uh, they they have obviously pushed in the initial tower at bottom, so. I'm um, gonna now work their way mid, see if they can get a kill on a Silhouette, who's actually diving on a Plywire Priest, but Silhouette, little does she know, there goes the Tongue Tide, in comes the Hammer Storm Stone. Now here's Magmus and Ophelia, but I think the Legion team is in a very dense. Oh, what a tree grapple from Silhouette, will survive for now, turn it around on the back, no, but the arrow, we're gonna get the kill on the Silhouette at the last second. A great attempt right there by Beatdown, but just not enough. Valkyrie will eventually fall, though, as the rest are going to stay alive. So in the end, it ends up being only a one for one exchange. But man, Silhouette nearly got away right there. Thankfully, though, for our Hellborn team, that Valkyrie was able to chase her down. But that worked out not too bad. But again, in the end, Silhouette did die. So yeah, that does suck for them. Too bad. Unfortunate. We're now nine minutes in. It is a six to five hero kill lead, though, in favor of TT Esports. But almost, almost quietly, though, Dark Lady continues to have a very good time at this top lane. As uh, she mm -hmm. is now at 325 gold per minute, so... A bit too good of a time up there. Yeah. A little bit too powerful. Um, I'm guessing Rune Cleaver after the Ghost Marchers here is probably going to be the pickup from Dark Lady. Uh, Nullstone would be not odd by any means, but it's just not usually the expected item choice, especially on a Dark Lady. Rune Cleaver is so powerful. Yeah. I think it's the core item. Yeah. Yeah, it synergizes so well with like your charging strikes, so
Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's the item which makes her farm go above 400. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna get that on... It's not like with Mage when you can go Helm and Geometer's Bane. True, yeah. And like, rape everybody and have 600 GPM. It's not gonna work with Dark Lady. You need that Rune Cleaver. Yeah, very good, true. Um, silhouette! She's actually not doing too bad. I mean, obviously she died in the middle lane after nearly getting away, but... She is. She actually is the top farmer in the game. 337 gold per minute. So uh, there's there's definitely that sign of hope here for our right, Legion team. Again, we're still earlier on, so not that it's by any means a victory just yet. But um, our Legion team definitely a little bit conf more confident after seeing that. Perhaps as Wretched Hag nearly gets taken out. Yeah, dark lady was hit. pretty close. One more hit, I think, would have done it. God, yeah, that's those dark blades, man. Level four dark blades. Well, well, not even level four. Level three. But they will wreck face, as we saw right there. But yeah, Silhouette, I mean, should our Hellborn team be concerned about the Silhouette as she is getting a little bit farmed? Um, I don't think they're concerned at all. Yeah. Because they have one, like, their Hammerstorm has equal farm nearly, and so does Dark Lady. Mm -hmm. So I don't really think they're concerned at all. Yeah, I think it's that's... it's Frey. I mean, they know when to be concerned or when not to. And right now, I don't think they are. Yeah, no, very true. Uh, a very experienced team, of course. Yeah, not uh, too concerned. And I, I definitely agree with you. I don't think it's obviously. Yeah, again, they they don't have the stats in front of them like we'd expect it. They don't have cheat cheat modes and everything. But <laughs> um, you know, I'm sure they could assume that Silhouette's having a decent time. But yeah, what 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 is it to them when you have a Dark Lady having a very good time? Your Hammer Storm. Is actually, uh, I'm guessing Portal Key is going to be his uh, first item of choice, really. Yeah, I'm 90% sure he'll do it. Yeah. Even though it's Slicks, I think he'll go with PK. <laughs> and it's funny you say that, because Slicks is known to go just the most random build sometimes. Yeah. On some heroes. But he always makes it work, so you can't blame him. Exactly, that's the craziest thing about it. It's like, he's not, a, he's not trolling, like... <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because uh, talking to some other some of his teammates too. It's same thing as a drafter. Apparently, he just like he doesn't even really put too much thought into it. Like really, like he's not like a fly in the sense of like a lot of lot of research, a lot of crazy in, in depth thinking. It's more of just like, eh, I feel like playing this hero. I'm gonna play this hero. Who wants to play this <laughs> hero? Like, it's a very it's a lot more free will, I guess, and a lot more just uh, you know on the fly. But <laughs> speaking of that word, oh, engineer gonna get caught right here. Bat blast used and. Uh, fall shortly well, after. Good so. kill, but I think the Baplas was slight overkill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially, you know, ultimates are there to use, as we always say, but I think you're right. Yep. Eh? I think they could have gotten that kill without it, but again, they can't see everything that we can see, so maybe they expected more support to be there. But I'd like Leon Black to, like, either move around or push a towel with his wards. I don't have him... I haven't seen him use it yet mm. in this game. True, actually, yeah. No, you mentioned that. Um, uh, he is level nine, so <laughs> not to see wards just yet. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty shocking. Now he did have yeah. a struggling start, of course. Yeah, with those three deaths. I mean, especially on. now, Legion is pushing top with like yeah. all of their heroes. He should be pushing mid right now. He goes for the rune. Yeah. Well, he's gonna pour top actually, because uh, Valkyrie also coming in. So all five are up here. It's a five versus. F oh, make that five versus four actually, as the Wretched Hag is not there, and the Legion team is just falling back altogether. So. Uh, they had a little bit of a chance, but now maybe we're going to see those wards come out. As I'm guessing they're going to push this land. Yeah, you see them using abilities and everything. So this uh, should be a tower kill up top here. For yeah, TD's it board. should be. Please drop wards. <laughs> Please use your abilities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he goes past it. He has a haste rune. Just going to scout things out first. But Heal, heal, heal. No, he didn't. Oh, needs to be a little bit careful. A haste rune running out right there, so... Uh, will the wards come down? I don't think they're going to use it yet, at least. He's going to at least wait for the next creep wave. But... Oh, Rion Brack. They, they, they've reset. <laughs> I... Uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Okay. Here we go. So the wards are out. But again, all five are here now from our Legion team, so... Oh, pff, look at Silhouette. That's invulnerable, so not too much damage going out right there. Again, the wards oh. are going to die, so... It's going to be... They, they should let it get into deny range. Ooh. Okay. Hmm, it's gonna be another standoff here. Yeah, that was close. So it's just out of deny range, of course, you need to be at that 130. But unfortunately, not for our Legion team. But I, I mean, I agree with you. I obviously kind of make a fun of the situation, but I, I'm a little bit baffled at why Leon Black didn't put the wards down initially, because this tower would have been dead right now, and 
they wouldn't have had time to reset it. Wouldn't it seem like at least. Yeah. They did, and uh, so sure enough, no tower kill coming out, and back to farm we go. Here, 14 minutes in. And there we go, they are able to deny it. So even adding insult to entry there. Unfortunate. They may make a counter push now. Well, they're going into the jungle, actually, but as you can see on your mini-map. Yep. The Hellborn team they spreading out. Catch Valkyrie yep. running away. Six just got a PK, by the way. Did he? Yeah. Yep. That's a... Uh, Scary item. I mean, Hammerstorm's definitely uh, very scary here to get an early Portaki on. Because that Brute Strength ultimate, I mean, he does not need items to do damage. With that ultimate of his, so. He will uh, tear you a new one, but speaking of pushing, here we go now. Legion team going to push this top lane, and they're going to get the tower kill. So, honestly, pretty good decision making from Dynasty in the end right there, and they, they actually come out on top of that little skirmish even. You could say as a portal key just purchased on Silhouette now, too. So, what the hell? She goes that route first. Yeah, that's... Okay. <laughs> I've tried that myself, and I've, whenever I've done a PK, literally first item on Silhouette, I've always failed. Mm -hmm. well, I hope he can <laughs> do it better than <laughs> I do. I was going to say, yeah. That's, as wrong as it may sound, well, I just hope he does it better than you, Keizu, because for their yeah, sake. Yeah, I hope so. Um, you know, maybe he hasn't learned as much as you at the same time. So, uh, yep. it, it is... We'll but yeah, we're, so just to clarify, we're bringing that up because you know it's not that it's a bad item. It's just usually you see a, at least a null stone first, yeah. If not even a geometer's brain or fire brand, but um, ooh, she's gonna port it right here with the portal key. So Jamba Polywag Priest Magma stuns as well. Unfortunately, though, I don't know if it's gonna be enough damage. Polywag Priest running away, and the more time it takes, the more time for response. And here we go, the Dark Lady Ultimate activated. In comes Hammer Storm, the brute strength that goes off. And a nice five second arrow on a Magmas as well. He will eventually fall. Hammerstorm goes down actually to Silhouette, so not too bad. Can she portal key? Oh, she had a chance to portal key, but Silhouette did not, and she is going to get caught here. Is she going to survive? Charging strikes, the auto attacks, the power supply at the last second though, and Silhouette will get away. The War Track comes out though on Ophelia, and Ophelia goes down. Wretched Act chasing down Engineer. Does not have mana. Oh, she does have mana for the blink, but not enough for the kill as Engineer goes into the forest. And it will stay alive as, oh, there we go. Wretched Ag eventually gets picked off, so. Man, our Legion team definitely had a little bit better chances. Yep. Not able to that was a really place. great response from TT Esports with the Dark Lady ulti and all the teleports. Yeah. Worked really well for them. Well, Silhouette survived, I mean. <laughs> that's that's the good news. But I have to say, while Ophelia was war trapped, he had all his minions on Valkyrie and he nearly killed him. So he had some really good micro guy oh. on there. Oh, wow, nice, yeah. Definitely deserving credit there, as uh, you put it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we we did see an example right there. Now the positive was that they were able to jump Polywalk Freeze because of that portal can silhouette and nearly get the kill. But at the same time, he is very very squishy, <laughs> and uh, nearly got turned around on. But again, somehow managed to survive. Dark Lady though, Rune Cleaver just purchased. Well, finished I should say. And now on him, 17 minutes into this game, Rune Cleaver Ghost Marchers. Not ideal when you're the opposition here. 346 gold per minute, and as you mentioned too, this is going to be what really just shoots him up there mm -hmm. with that gold per minute. So keep a close eye on that now. Bad news for Legion. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, so especially because like he went PK, so he kind of slows down his farming. Yeah. Only if he's able to get kills, but exactly. Mm. Well, we see right there. I mean, he missed the grapple. It's yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> see, some, I that pain. See, I don't get. I guess Brazilians are used to playing on US East. I think that's. I think they get a little bit better latency on US East. So I don't think it's a big difference. I don't think it's a big difference. That's why I'm like like 50, 60, maybe. Yeah. So this isn't like abnormal for them. So I don't know why. They, oh, oh no, that's the real one. Do they know though? I don't. I think they may think that's the illusion. They're gonna go. Okay, she does port out at the last second. Torture gets caught to the heal from it. They're not gonna matter. Engineer ultimate's down. Yeah, that's just gonna keep them away. Wretched act blinking and all oh, the tongue tie though comes out. The wards are ten as well. Dark Lady comes in and finish off Ophelia, I believe that was, as she was war trapped once again. The minions are dead, and TT Esports fighting them back now. Leap not too successful. The arrow oh is going to hit. Oh, Magmus, you tried to be sneaky, son of a bitch. Big White Teleba. Big White Teleba. Valkyrie arrows. <laughs> Not too often we get to say that. Yeah, once again, a great response. But I'm actually... <laughs> I agree. I think they thought it's the illusion, which got 5-second arrowed and not the real silhouette. Yeah. 
at the tower. But if you looked at Leon Black, I don't know if he did, but that's... Like, you could see that he's an experienced polymer player because he morphed one hero, war trapped the other, and then he tongue-tied the third <laughs> hero. Yeah, you like, know, I love seeing he that. He yeah. disabled three heroes. It's, yeah, and that's that's actually a really good point to bring up. You know, another hero like Witch Slayer comes to mind, where you have two very powerful CC, and this get, you can even say three on Polywap Priest because of the War Trap. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's you shouldn't be overlapping them, and you do see so many players that do that, you know, whether it's just being Panic Mode or Tunnel Visioned. But yeah, that's where Leon Black definitely deserves credit of, you know, spreading out the CC as War Trap one, Hex the other, and Tongue Tie the other, so... Locking down three targets tends to be a little bit better than locking down that one target in most cases. Yeah. So, very good point to bring up. Um, I mean, I keep pulling up this.